So if you watched my review on how the R4 holds up today, you can probably remember that I mentioned something about being able to play videos on it. You're able to play backed up games, run some really great emulators, play music, watch videos, and even install custom firmware on your 3DS with it, depending on which flash card you bought. But a few months after making the video, I just realized that there aren't any proper tutorials or anything on how to convert videos onto it, even after all these years of the R4 even existing. Which is why today, I'll be going back to my roots a bit by showing you guys how you can play movies and videos on your DS's R4 flash card. Wait, you don't know me yet? Well, I'm Internet Ivan and I usually make reviews and experiments on pretty much anything related to video games and electronics, so make sure to subscribe for more content like you're about to see here. Anyways, let's just get into the guide already. So pretty much all you're gonna need is an internet connection, your R4 that should have a software called Moonshell installed, it came with your flash card's firmware, a micro SD to USB adapter if needed, and a computer, preferably running Windows. I'm not entirely sure if you can run the program we're gonna use on Linux or Mac, but it says stuff about it in the change logs, so maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, I'm not sure. If someone can let me know in the comments, please do so so I can put it in the description. And if you want, you could probably try running this on a virtual machine as long as it's something newer than Windows XP. So first things first, you're going to want to have the videos you want in an MP4 format. I'm not entirely sure about other video formats because this is the only one I tested so far. You could probably try other video formats like MOV or MKV, but you could always just convert those to MP4 if those formats don't work with the program we're going to be using. Now, the program is called DPG4X. Basically, what this program does, it takes your video files and converts them into a DPG format. The DPG format is a video format that Moonshell uses. It's pretty simple to do. And as soon as you open the link in the description, you will pretty much see a big green download button. And of course, you would want to press that. You can also go ahead and read everything else if you want. But today, I'm only going to be showing you guys how to download it. Now, once you have it downloaded, go ahead and launch up the setup by double clicking it. After that, it should come up with Windows Defender, but you want to press run anyway. After that, it should come up with the setup wizard. Choose your appropriate language. Click next. Click next. Click accept then next. Then it will come up with a summary of the program you're going to install. Read it if you want and then click next. Choose between standard or a custom install but I would choose standard to make it quick. And lastly click install. Click next and then finish. Now go over to your desktop and there should be a DPG4X icon. Go ahead and double click that to open it up. Go over to miscellaneous at the top and press examine output folder. Go ahead and set it as your downloads folder, or if you want to, you can choose something else. Go ahead and look for the file you want. You can convert your DVDs or VCDs to it if you have a disk drive on your computer if you want to. But what I'm going to do is just drop my MP4 file onto here. You can go ahead and press DPG preview to see a preview of what your video is going to look like on your DS. You can also just mess around with the settings if you want to, but to make it easier, I'm just going to leave it as is and just press encode. Depending on the file size, it could take a while, so just be patient until it's done encoding. Once it's done, your video should pop up in your downloads folder as a DPG file. After that, you can go ahead and put your SD card inside of your computer. Open it up and create a new folder and rename it to videos. Once you make that, you can go ahead and drop your DPG file into the folder you just created. And that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and put the SD card back into your flash card and back into your DS and I'll show you what to do from there. Go and launch up your R4 from your home menu. Wait for it to load up and then go over and launch up Moonshell. For me, all I have to do is just click this button right here. Then it'll come up with all your folders. Go ahead and look for the videos folder you made. After that, click the video you want to play and enjoy. You can go ahead and skip through the video or lower and raise the volume. Now, is this even worth doing to watch a full-length movie on? Maybe if you were a kid in 2008? 12 years later, not really. Depending on the video you chose, the aspect ratio can be a bit weird and the audio isn't really that good. But this is something that I would do mostly for the novelty rather than the quality. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channels for more content like this and occasional live streams. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.